Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly reading for Virgo. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending all of you love and light as usual. This will be a general collective reading and it will not resonate with every Virgo and it will not resonate with every Virgo cross watcher. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. But if you have someone raising your Venus placements in Virgo or you are dealing with someone that does have those birth chart placements, this reading could resonate with you. Please take a moment to read through the description box, especially if it is your first time here. And if it is, welcome to my channel. Personal readings are open. There is a link in the description box to schedule a personal reading with me. And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok. If you're interested in collective readings, you can find the links to both in the description box. All right. What is going on with my Virgo Collective? <laughs> All right, okay, we have third party as the first card out. Hope you guys can see the cards well. We have time off. Hot mess, oof. So you've been in some messy third party situation and, oh goodness, Spirit says you need to put yourself first. You need, you need a break. All right, we have the world. So it looks like a situation is coming to an end. Um, it looks like luck is on your side. Things are about to, there's positive change manifesting. Um, what about the moon though? Ooh, yeah. Spirit, Spirit says you need to proceed with caution or they're saying that something could be maybe hidden from you or, or somebody could be deceiving you. You need to listen to your intuition and your gut because there's something here about toxicity, addiction, obsession, codependency, um, something, maybe money issues. Yeah, somebody's just not low vibrational people. Tell me more. Purpose. Get a be get into better alignment and heal. Because something you've been involved in has been toxic. And you do need to take some time for yourself and heal. There could be jealousy and envy. Somebody could be jealous of you. Something's unfinished. So you may feel like you haven't got what you deserved in a situation. But Spirit wants you to know that it's not over. It's still in process, okay? Um... What does this mean for Virgo? Isolation. Yeah, they're telling you to remove yourself from a situation. It's time to remove it. It's too much for you. It's too, it's toxic. And they want you to focus on healing. You have, there is hope. There's something new trying to manifest for you. Wish fulfillment. Um, Once you remove yourself from this situation, that's, look at this, burnt out. That's exhausting you. It's been, you've been placing so much emphasis or focus on that, that you haven't been taking care of yourself like you need to. There's something about this that's out of your control. For some of you have been working a lot. They're telling, trying to say, make more time for yourself if you can. All right. But you've been like learning, you've been learning lessons or you're, you could be maybe discovering something about a masculine energy or through a relationship with this masculine, you're learning valuable life lessons. Tell me about this masculine online it could be somebody you met online or you could be finding out some type of truth about this masculine online um it could be a hard lesson but it's trying to push you into change it's trying to force you into change for you to get more you there's there's something better for you or you guys have been maybe wanting better for you wanting more out of life and if you want more for yourself you're gonna have to remove yourself from the situation that's been stifling you okay so let's see you could be finding out something about a third party and things could get messy real quick it looks like here what are they finding out what is being revealed here that something can't progress that it's time to stop doing this whatever you've been doing that there's some type of blockage or obstacle when it comes to this situation that is insurmountable that you guys can't overcome irreconcilable differences tell me more about it potential up in the air Take a risk. Fragmented. What is it that you're not? Reconciliation. Crossroads. Answers. And what is there? Okay. Toxic. Yeah. Obstacles. Coldness. So I'm getting the vibe here. Yeah. Look at this. Hidden. Hiding true intentions. Somebody was doing something behind your back or there, were hit, there was jealousy, a hidden enemy. So you thought that something had potential. You felt like things were up in, up in the air. Maybe this was somebody that said they were going to commit to you or you just thought that this situation still had potential to go somewhere. So... You took a risk on this in some way, but like you couldn't, there were some things that you didn't know. All right. But, and I feel like you were like faced, maybe this person was trying to make up their mind about you, or you had to make up your a decision about whether or not you wanted to keep entertaining this to some degree. Um, but there was definitely, you tried to be patient. There was obstacles, but you were just hoping that, you know, I feel like things would change. 
that you and this person could maybe work things out, that things could be different. Um, you guys could restore a connection. But then it's like you're realizing something about you're getting that clarity that you need, that this is something that you need to let go of, that this person is toxic and that this is a dead end relationship. Like you may be realizing that this person doesn't really love you or that something is blocked. They're not really telling me exactly how it's blocked, but I do see that somebody been dealing with you can't trust and it's not where you're, you're not supposed to be with this person. What are they finding out? What kind of, what are they, what are they finding out here? Karmic cycle, sad news. Something about a karmic or a karmic cycle. Maybe this was somebody that was telling you that they were going to leave another situation. They were like one foot in, one foot out the door. And you were hoping that they would choose you. But I feel like you may have found out that this person maybe wanted to stay in their situation or they went back to this karmic. They they didn't leave that situation like they said they were going to. Something like that. Okay. But it's there's something better for you. I just did a reading for someone, what was that, a couple days ago. I can't remember what sign, but somebody I did yesterday. It was either Aries or Gemini. I think it was maybe Gemini. or I don't know. It was one of those signs. But it was similar type thing. Like, there's something so much better for you. We have Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. We have Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Four of Wands. Somebody's refusing to make an emotional investment here. Their heart's not in it. They're not putting their heart into it. Two of Wands in re or no, Three of Wands. Yeah, you've been waiting for somebody to commit to you, to invest in you, and they're not doing it. And I don't think they are going to do it. Yeah, this is going to keep being something one-sided, imbalanced. You giving a lot and then them not giving anything type thing. Yeah, they kind of went back and reconciled with like a, a fire sign, an Aries Leo or a Sag. I definitely see that somebody reconciled with somebody else, okay? That they said that they were maybe going to end things with or that they were going to leave, but I don't think that they did. Tell me more. Hang out this Queen of Cups. All right, the Hermit. And I feel like you guys are pulling all that love that you were pouring into this person back towards yourself or that's what you need to do, okay? Self-love, self-care. Because I definitely see you guys are burnt out. You've been giving to a person that hasn't been giving to you and that's exhausting, all right? Definitely was third party involved here. They're wanting you to find your independence. Tell me more. The Five of Pentacles. Yeah, this is leaving you in a... Uh, yeah, you, you not releasing this person is putting you in lack financially spiritually emotionally yeah it's bringing a lot of unnecessary negativity because it's, it's unfair it's not a fair situation it's imbalanced it's not going to lead to emotional fulfillment or a fulfillment in, fulfillment in any way i just you guys have been very open maybe you're also learning a lesson here in like having better discernment about who it is who like giving to certain situations or people or like oh you know wearing your heart on your sleeve there's nothing wrong with that and that that can be an amazing quality but you need to have better discernment about who you're you're who you're showing that get how do i say that you need to have better discernment about who you were giving that love and that attention and that affection affection and that, that part of yourself to, because some people take advantage of it only give that to somebody that's giving that back to you okay so so in a nutshell i feel like this person played you they made you think one thing was going to happen and then it didn't happen okay so we have denial yeah being in denial over the relationship ending is prolonging your own suffering time to let go we have nothing else to do. There's nothing you could have done differently. Challenges teach you everything as is as it should be. We have divine intervention and we have choice made. So this person is going to end up choosing you over this other person. They were trying to decide between you and somebody else. Divine intervention will help bring the two of you together. How is that going to go? I don't feel like you guys are going to end up. How is that going to turn out? 
confused mind yeah un overwhelmed by not understanding what is really going on intensity scares them this could be your twin for some of you that's like married or in some type of other connection it says family responsibilities are holding them back maybe a marriage okay but they do if you guys are in separation from this person they do miss you but they've been very stubborn i just saw 10 10 on the camera um they've been stubborn to working on themselves and there's some toxic habits and things that you need to work on as well that they're trying to bring to your attention with this situation but ultimately where is this headed we have forgiveness so they're going to come in and ask for your forgiveness test you out test you to see if you still you know are interested in them or open to them but spirit says you deserve better there's someone better waiting for you just to overcome your fear of the unknown they have a big ego but it looks like their ego is dying Okay, um, let's see. It's like this person may be coming towards you, correct? But I'm almost getting like that it's something that you guys don't feel like you can forgive them for. You may maybe feel like you can never trust them. Or this is just a situation you don't want to be involved in. We have Capricorn season. Hard work will pay off. Discipline, strategic, rigid, tenacity. We have Virgo season, okay? Slowly moving towards you. Yeah, Cancer season. Take the reins of your life. What do they need to know about this person coming back? Lost in time. Somebody needs to get clear. Somebody's lost and somebody needs to get clear on what it is that they want. You're this if you're in separation from this person, they're going to try to come back here within the next few months. Um, what do they need to know about that? Possibly in the next few months. But Spirit is saying that they want you to release this. Yeah, they're going to come back before the end of the spring. And Spirit is saying that um, when you let go, what's for you will come. Let go of what's holding you back. This person's a blockage for you. One more card about this person. Yeah, jealousy. They could maybe be coming back because they're jealous. They don't want anybody else to have you. Maybe they know that you're moving on. The wheel is turning in your favor. Look at this. Not in this lifetime. Some things are not meant to be. No, not for you. Out of alignment. You already know. So you already know that maybe this person isn't for you. You guys are growing. You may not even be attracted to this person anymore. Like something maybe is changing within you that's making you just not having want to have anything to do with this person anymore. What is it that they already know? Just give one more card. What do they already know? That you have something coming in. Yeah, there's something coming in. You know, there's, you know that there's something better for you than this. I feel like Spirit is saying if you really commit to yourself, you do have something coming in here with like by the end of the year or within six months, some type of commitment. And I feel like it's, yeah, this person may even feel it. They may even feel that you're about to move on, meet somebody else and they want to rush towards you. Mm, so what's this mean for this connection that they've been dealing with? They're going to try to come back, guys. I don't know exactly when they're going to come back, but Spirit just keeps telling you that this person's not good for you. Like, bad forces blocking. Yeah. Trickery, lies, evil eyes, shadow self. We have round and round. Yeah, you've been through cycles with this person. Give attention to situations that keep repeating themselves. There is a lesson that you're resisting to learn. We have the witch, awaken your inner witch, put all your fierce and feminine powers to work. We have the star, shoot for the stars, don't you dare settle for fine, set your sights higher, you deserve better. And we have thoughts, keep your thoughts positive, move past your limiting beliefs and shift your energy to raise your vibration. We have empowerment, give yourself permission to practice your power, you're more powerful than you realize, okay? So yeah, and don't, don't be closed off, don't put all your eggs in one basket with this person. Spirit says, don't be afraid to collaborate you have options there are other it says may you may be focusing too much on one thing or person that you're failing to see there's other great options to collaborate with okay so this is what i have for you i hope that this reading resonated with you thank you for watching don't forget to like comment share and subscribe if you can take something from this reading um don't forget to like or follow me on instagram and tiktok if you're interested in collective readings I don't know if I said this or not yet. And personal readings are open. If you're interested in that, there is a link in the description box to schedule. Um, but other than that, I hope you guys have a great rest of your night and I will talk to you soon. Bye.